All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about everything that has to do with microfiber. As you can see, we have microfiber towels, mops. Um, we'll talk about a little bit of segregation. We're gonna talk about cleaning, brands we use, how we select those. So let's get into it. First, let's start talking about how do I select a microfiber towel? A lot of people say, well, what brand do you use? Is there a specific brand? More than anything, when we're selecting microfiber, we look for your thickness. Um, a little test that we'll do is we'll hold it up and if we can see the, the fibers through the towel, that's not gonna be good enough. So here's an example. And then this cheap microfiber, which you can get like on Amazon and things like that, it's pretty much see-through, it's very thin. Um, why do I not want those? It's a great question that I get a lot. We look for microfiber because we don't like to replace a lot of towels. I'm not going through towels a lot. I want to get 200 or more washes out of a single towel. So this type of microfiber, and you can feel it, it's a lot softer. This is a lot more rough and kind of, you know, bristly. So this one here is what we're looking for. These are made by Impact Brands. So it is a company out of China. Um, there are, as you can see, laundering directions on here, but I'm gonna kind of go over that as well. Um, your less expensive ones you can get, let's say at the Home Depot and things like that, where like, oh, those are a lot less expensive. Um, you're probably only gonna get 30 to 50 washes out of it before you need to actually get rid of it. This one probably has about six washes and you can completely see through it. So this isn't one we're gonna use. So let's talk about the next thing, waste segregation. We talk, that's separating your waste. In this instance, we're not talking about waste, we're talking about towels. And you notice we have different color towels. Now, as we talked about before in other lessons and other videos, different towels do different things in our system. So green is for surfaces, blue is for glass, yellow is for toilets and urinals, and red is for OR surfaces. So operating rooms, um, any type of surgical suite, maybe even you know your GI labs. So how do I segregate? Really, the ones that I segregate solely when they're soiled are these, because these may need to not only be cleaned separately, but we may actually have to dispose of some of these because of the contaminants. Our other towels we have here, they're placed once they're soiled together. Now, why is that? Well, these are synthetic fibers. So synthetic fibers have the ability to not let pathogens actually stick to them as much and we can clean them a lot easier than if we're dealing with cotton and things like that. Same thing for our mops, all microfiber. So I get a lot of questions then of like, well, how do I clean them? So mistakes that people make, they get temperatures that are really, really high. So let's do really hot water because, you know, just like my mom always said, cold water never cleaned anything. In this instance, that's completely wrong. You don't want your temperatures up too high. Remember, this is a synthetic fiber. So synthetic fibers can melt, they can get really scratchy and you wanna ruin it. You're gonna clog up the microfiber abilities to pick things up. So we're using cold water and for us, we're using a detergent. Now, we don't wanna over detergent things. So how do we clean ours? We use these little sheets and we'll drop one in the washing machine and turn the washing machine on. This allows the end user to know exactly like not putting too much, they're not putting too little. It's very, very consistent by just using one of these small sheets. So this is the detergent that we use. Another thing, you do not wanna clean microfiber in your top loading washer with the agitator in there. You wanna have a front loading washer, no agitator because they do need to have that agitation and flopping around to actually get them clean. Once they're clean, what do we do? You wanna have the longer cycle and dry them at a medium temperature. So again, they're synthetic. So think of this as polyester. If you have a polyester pair of pants and you put it on high heat, you're gonna melt them, you're gonna shrink them. And we don't wanna do that because microfiber is a huge investment. You wanna last these, like I said, 200 or more washes. Let's say that you do the unthinkable and you are washing these and you do put fabric softener in them and you're noticing that now all of your towels are kind of kind of crunchy like you know what i, I gotta i gotta dispose of them uh, maybe i put bleach in them and that bleach will automatically ruin your towel so keep that in mind no bleach ever and i get well bleach is a disinfectant well bleach is actually an oxidizer and it does exactly like you're doing with your clothes. It's bleaching your fabrics and it's ruining your microfiber. So we're gonna avoid bleach, we're gonna avoid fabric softener, 
and let's say you do put fabric softener in there. I got a little trick for you. And this works not only for this type of towel, but it works for any towel. So if you have those bath towels at home and they started off great, nice and fluffy, and you loved them, and then now they're really scratchy and it's probably time to throw them away, this is a great product that we can use to rinse those out. Now, how do we do that? Well, we'll pull a five gallon bucket, dilute this about six ounces to a gallon, and we'll leave our towels in there for about five hours. We'll pull them out. And what this does is it pulls out all of the soap residue, like this is. What it's doing is it's neutralizing the leftover fabric softener, the detergent that may be in them, and it's making your towels soft again. So it's making them be able to be used again. So this is a great product if you're dealing with that. So this is an acid, and then you can see this is a carpet cleaning chemical. Um, we buy this from Interlink Supply, Aramsco, anything like that. You can probably buy it online, but that's where we buy ours. Um, some people say that they can use vinegar. Same theory, vinegar is an acid. This just works a lot faster and it's a little bit more economical because you don't have to use as much. So let's talk segregation um, or separation. I have people that do separate their towels, green, blue, yellow, as they're cleaning. Um, as we know, as we're working through a, a building that makes it a little bit difficult for us to carry around a building because I have to have three different bags, in this case, maybe four different bags for different color towels. So if we're talking about soil levels and when do I throw a towel away? When is it no longer serviceable? And you're like, you know what? That's, that's pretty, that, I'm done. I touched something with that. It got, it's gotta be thrown away. In a surgical environment, if I'm using blood and I'm cleaning up blood to the point where this is soiled, soiled, not like, oh, it's a little spot. Yes, I need to throw that away. In these instances, if yellow, you're dealing with feces and you feel like, hey, I don't want that in my washer because a lot of us are washing these in our home washer and dryer, go ahead and toss those out. But remember, these are synthetic fibers. Your pathogens are automatically not gonna be able to live on these because there's nothing like cotton or something like that to actually live off of. So proper cleaning would be fine. Now, keep that in mind. If you're uncomfortable with it, that's your call, throw them away. So at the same time, window cleaner, glass cleaner, um, general purpose cleaners, these can all be put together as I'm done soiling and I can wash them together. Because this towel that touched the toilet is not necessarily gonna infect these towels because we're actually washing them properly. And those pathogens are gonna go down because they're not gonna stick to your microfiber, right? So again, these towels are surgical. In surgical environments, 99% of the time you have a laundry service and that's a totally different way of cleaning. You're dealing with tighter reports. You have proof of you know temperatures on, on water temperatures and drying temperatures, totally different way of cleaning. So 99% of the time, if I'm cleaning an OR, I don't even have to worry about my red. I'm gonna be dealing with a linen service that the provider, your customer, is providing you with. So they'll tell you where to put them and all that stuff. All you gotta worry about is, do we still have them? So keep that in mind. If we're cleaning ORs ourselves, yes, I segregate my towels and I clean them completely separately. I segregate my flat mops, same thing, and can clean, clean them completely separately. So we talked about laundering towels, right? Um, we talked about segregation, but you notice we have a mop. This is a microfiber mop. So if you feel this, this is a lot like this, but they roll them up and they call them loop mops, right? So these are, we probably pay about $18 a mop. And yes, you can probably go to your local Costco, Home Depot, janitorial store and get your rayon blend blue mops. And they're probably about $7 a piece. And they last maybe a month. You wash them probably in the sink. Um, but as remember, we talked about here, those aren't synthetic fibers. Those will get dirty. Those will breed infection. You're not gonna be able to clean those with anything but maybe bleach and then bleach is gonna harm that fiber. You're gonna get maybe 40 washes out of them or this, you're gonna get the same, about 200 washes out of this one mop. This is gonna pick up your soil better on your floors. This is gonna not infect everything as you're going around mopping. And these will last, honestly, they'll last years and years and years. You'll probably throw them away because they're dirty before you throw them away because they're messed up. So keep that in mind. 
great investment, but remember they are investment and with an investment, you gotta treat it right. No bleach, no fabric softener, low temperatures. You're not putting a bunch of hot water in it. If it's dirty, don't start throwing more of the laundry detergent in there. You don't have to use these. You can use any laundry detergent. What you want to avoid again is stuff with bleach added. Um, laundry detergents that have maybe a fragrance. It smells like lavender or whatever. Avoid that stuff. Just get stuff that's just a straight laundry detergent. We like Echoes because there's nothing really in there that's going to harm any of the, the fabrics we have. And that kind of stuff works great for us. You don't have to use this, like I said, but it works good for us. So let's summarize. So we talked about selection. So with our selection, again, we deal with quality, not brand, and really there's no really reason to go for a brand. If you can see through them, um, you probably don't want to use them. If they're more than, let's say, if it's a 12 by 12 towel, I like to use 14 by 14s. As you see here, you just get more cleaning space because you have eight if you fold it. So we like the 14 by 14s. Um, and then we talk about laundering them. Laundering them again, it's low temperatures. You're not talking about hot water. You're talking about lukewarm to cold water. And then laundry detergent, we want something we can control the dilution. So for us, we use these little tabs and it throw, we throw it into a washer. And again, this is not a top loading washer. These are your high efficiency washers you probably have at your house, you see at laundry mats. Um, you need that agitation from the towels falling to get them clean. Um, and again, we have don'ts. Our don'ts are high temperature, bleach, fabric softener, things we don't use. Um, let's say you want to rescue some that had fabric softener in. Again, we talked about using something like this, which is an all fiber rinse. It's an acid. So if you look at the label, it's a 4.5 on the acid scale. So on your pH scale, it's a 4.5. Um, and then just washing and drying at a decent temperature. You want that longer medium heat for a longer time. That's gonna handle your disinfection of your towels. Not high heat at a short time. You're gonna melt your fibers. They're gonna get itchy. They're gonna and you're gonna have to throw them away. Um, the last pro tip I would give you, when you're laundering mops like these, if you're laundering a, both at the, a bunch at the same time, you'll want to wash them and then let them hang dry or mix these in with these towels so your, your washer is not as heavy and it doesn't ruin your dryer. So those are the tips that I would give you as your end user cleaning these in your home or office type of washer and dryer um, on a daily basis. So I'd like to thank our subscribers. Um, I'd like to thank our members and we're putting out as much content as we can. But again, thank you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.